everyone, and happy Friday evening. Um, this is my faded video from last night. I watched The Sound of Music with Alyssa, and we video chatted, and my grandmother uh, and Aaron both watched it with me, and my grandmother was kind of like, Alyssa is in your computer. That's amazing. And I was like, I know, Mama, this is technology. And um, she kind of understood a little bit more the concept of Alyssa and I watching movies together when one of us is here and one of us is in Roanoke. So that was kind of an exciting technological advance that my grandmother made last night. Um, as far as the sound of music is concerned, um, I had some thoughts and feelings and I mostly tweeted them. Um, I had a lot of tweet, Twitter feeding going on last night. Um, overall, I thought that the movie was not terrible. I understood in concept that it was a remake of the Broadway musical, but it was still really difficult to reconcile the film that showed last night with the Julie Andrews movie musical that I have known and loved for my whole life. Um, or I guess my whole life, I don't know, when I first watched it, but I've watched it as long as I can remember. So, um, basically, Carrie Underwood was a good singer. Not the best actress that I've ever seen. Um, and I don't know how much of that was just due to uh, rehearsal or direction or fear that she was going to be compared to Julie Andrews for the entire night. I'm not really sure what that was, but um, sometimes she was a little robot-y and that made me sad because I really, you know, I... I was torn, like I wanted to hate it and I wanted to love it, but so to be kind of in the middle and not to any degree, you know, kind of just put me in like a, hmm. I plan on, I DVR'd it though, so I'm going to watch it again and see how I feel about it after I have some space and I come back to it with a fresh perspective. Um, Audra McDonald played Mother Superior and she, or Mother Abbess, and she was phenomenal. Uh, she was so talented and I would watch her do anything where she got a chance to sing. Um, the guy who played Max, whose name I had looked up, but I left in our kitchen. And the woman who played the Baroness, whose name I also looked up and left in our kitchen. Both did really, really, really good jobs. And I thought that um, they pulled some of the songs from the musical that don't appear in the movie. That really highlighted both of those actors, um, individual talents, and I really, really appreciated that. Um, the sets were decent. They were pretty good. Um, that was nice. You know, again, it's hard to make that adjustment from, like, movie magic to a play, and it's even harder to make, like, from a theater to a video recording of a theater event, so, um, I thought they had some unique challenges there that they overcame relatively well. Um, What else? Oh, I told Alyssa last night, one of my absolute favorite things about The Sound of Music that we watched last night was um, Baroness Von Schrader, Elsa. Um, I have never really been a big fan of the Baroness, and you're not supposed to be a big fan of the Baroness, I don't think. Like, she comes in, and she wants to send the kids to boarding school, and she's not Maria, and you know if she and Captain Von Trapp get married that there's no happy ending for Maria, um, unless her happy ending is that she goes back to being a nun, which is what she wants to do to begin with. In which case, perhaps it is a happy ending. I don't know. Um, and so you're not really supposed to like the Baroness, and I am aware of that. But one of the things I really appreciated in this production was how they did such a great job of illustrating the foils of their characters, like Maria versus Elsa and the differences in their character through wardrobe. Um, for most of the movie, um, Maria is dressed like a milkmaid, like the Swiss Miss milkmaid chick. And Baroness Von Trader is dressed in beautiful, beautiful clothing. Um, like she has this gorgeous red pantsuit and she has like this like evening gown that's all like black and slinky and cut and very, very elegant and pretty. And then you have Maria who is clearly a picture of innocence and I thought that just with wardrobe and styling alone they did such a fantastic job representing those two characters. I think sometimes um, wardrobe doesn't get enough credit and I think that I, have weird hair. I think that sometimes um, wardrobe doesn't get enough credit but also such subtle 
things are shown through a character's wardrobe. And so I really, um, I talked about that a lot last night. I'm sure Alyssa was like, I don't care. Shh. But it was really good. Um, so overall, if you like The Sound of Music, I recommend that you try it. If you weren't a huge fan of The Sound of Music, I don't know that you would like this one. Um, but if you got, that's all I have to say. Um, I would give it like three out of five stars and I plan on watching it again. So I guess overall it was successful. I would really like to see more plays done this way. Um, you know, like there's, Alyssa said there's some cabaret rumors that they're going to redo it with uh, Catherine McPhee as the main character from that. Sally Bowles. And that would be really cool to see. I think it's always, I'm always excited to see musical theater make its way into more mainstream media. So hopefully we'll get to see some more things like this. Um, if you guys watched The Sound of Music and you had any thoughts or feelings, let us know in the doobly-doo in the comments down below. And I will be back again tomorrow with another video so that we are on track. See you guys later. Bye!